the lecture i'm going to discuss what how to remove column header into the output text file so when i execute the query then the output comes without the column header so let's see the codes or query so here writing first to s4 and making them on after that the next is let's write s4 and there you need to provide the location of the files so you can give anywhere but uh, here i am going to one or uh, creating one text files and giving the names gems so this is a text file here and uh, the next is so uh, here let's go on the map and copying the location and this way i am giving on pasting the location of the file and uh, there you need to give the file names that is gems and this is the text file after uh, giving the location of the text files now the next is or uh, here write set heading off so don't make uh, that on by default it's on now you need to make that off after that the next is here uh, or let's write the query so or uh, select a star from emp so here you can see this is the scored schema and scored schema there is the emp table is there so first here i'm going to show the record inside the emp tables so select a star form and here emp so now you can see this is the emp records this is coming with the column and uh, now before running you can see gems is the empty so after that giving this so uh, query and let's so uh, right here let's see uh, select this one and click on this right click then click on this run scripts so when you click on this run scripts then the output is uh, displaying without the uh, header and uh, now here you can see total of uh, 14 rows selected and uh, now you can see here this is the text file uh, this one that was empty but after executing records come there without column without columns okay so this is how we can or uh, remove column header into the output text files so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you